Good morning, y'all. We are in the town of King, North Carolina today. Everybody else has already left me, so I'm doing the intro by myself. But we have come to King Kitchen for some breakfast. I'm told it is the place to be in King. It's the king of breakfast restaurants. Y'all done left me by the car, made me do intros by myself. All right, y'all know her. This is Dee. Y'all know Ricky and Laura, too. What the heck? All right, what do they got good here? Let's go find out, I guess. Breakfast. Well, I'm ready for it. <laughs> All right, come on. Okay, monster monster omelet. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Thank you. What'd you get in your omelet? I don't remember. Mushroom and mozzarella. Okay. I got the breakfast special, which came with three pancakes, eggs, and meat. Ricky did the same thing. Different type of eggs, different type of meat. Laura got the biggest biscuit on the face of the planet. Um, wow. Um, maybe coffee. Okay. Probably gonna be inheriting some of your stuff, so. <laughs> King, you fed us well. <laughs> we have made it to West Jefferson, North Carolina. Now we're not in West Carolina, no. West Jefferson, North Carolina. I did not know there was this much stuff here. Gosh. Wow. Legend. But our main destination is some cheese. We're here for the cheese. Marr. I guess these actually are the cows that give the milk because they're like milk tanks. <laughs> kind of funny. All right, so we've got the viewing room over on this side where you can see cheese be made. Wow. Well, I was told they'd be making some cheese. Oh my gosh. Look, there they are making some cheese. Whoa! Just pretend this is a window, not a television. Mass production of cheddar. The majority of our milk is now delivered in tankers, coming from both North Carolina and Virginia. The soft cubes are gently stirred as heat is applied. See, I can still learn stuff. Eventually leaving 90% whey and 10% cheese. No way. The whey are stirred until the curd has reached the desired acid in body. Washes off some of the lactic acid that gives cheese a bitter flavor as it ages. Oh, so those cows came out in 2011. A welding class made those cows. The other 7% is lost in the way. All right, we'll come back here across the street to the retail outlet. Surely they've got some cheese in here. You got fudge, ice cream. Oh yeah. You get all that. Fourteen dollars for some cool. Well, that the, one. This I see. That's a really good price. This is exactly what I need: a guitar, cheese board. Oh my gosh. These are cute. I'd feel bad eating that though. So that's actually cheese too. So is it wax? I guess. I guess. Well, I guess it's in plastic and then wax and cow skin. I guess it's leather. I don't know how cows work. <laughs> oh gosh, gonna get you some trail mix. I love got jellies, honey. Ooh la la. Cheese turd cam, cheese turd cam. You know I had to get some turds. <laughs> oh, dark raspberry. I like this place. The like candy it. corner. I got all these like nickel, penny. They're probably not actually nickels and pennies, but you know. Chocolate candies from Amish country. Look, little turtles. Eat a turtle. See, today is Saturday, but I guess two-ish came early. So we had some cheese success today. I'm happy I got me a little bag of cheese turds. We're gonna eat those later. But I think we're gonna snack our way through lunch today. There's lots of good looking stuff here in the town. Let's see what we get up to. We can watch Tom and Jerry. Cute little theater. Whole lot of donuts. Yeah, their open sign's not lit up, but I'm hoping that they are open. Because we are really in the mood for a whole lot of donuts. 
All right, maybe they just forgot to turn the sign. Yeah, I see people in the window. Back street stop, all right. Oh good, the sign is open here. Iced coffee, yes. Look at the size of these donuts. All right, um, hmm. Nothing really in there for scale, but um, they are enormous. And they have apple fritters. Yeah, let's get some scale in there. Let's see if we know how to open a box. <gasps> Look at that. Yikes. This is my hand. This is of my hand. Yeah. <laughs> we got the peanut butter one. Which made us a whole little box for this one donut, but cute. And you got vanilla iced coffee, mm -hmm. peppermint iced coffee. Mm -hmm. We're tearing it up. We got regular <laughs> iced coffee. All right, Wes Jefferson, you were cute. But we're moving on. To the West Bend Winery. They are having some St. Patrick's Day events out here. They're playing, they got a live band playing some Bon Jovi over there. There's a food truck. All kinds of stuff going on. Well, we're just gonna hang out in here. We could take a little peek at some of the equipment. It's like a behind the scenes tour. They do wine, they do beer. We'll just sit in here where it's calm for a minute. We are gonna check out the West Bend Happy Place. I guess it's got peach notes and stuff. There's pieces of horse in there. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what part of the horse is in there, but it's, it's probably good. Oh, it smells like a peach. I was gonna say, it's make a lot of wine word jokes. Product of Italy. Oh gosh, okay, so we're gonna try a Moscato from Italia. So this is 11%, the other one was 13%. That's a lot of percent. All right, let's see how Italy stacks up. She loved this one, and the face she made was not as good. It's not, it's not. Oh, I see what you made. What is, all right, Laura is laughing her booty off over there. What is happening? Oh, no, that's pretty good. Is it better? It just doesn't smell like the other one smells like peaches. This one smells like wine. Oh. I see what you mean. There's not like a lot of redeeming fruit no, flavor. I have no idea what's happening, y'all, but. Um, Did you spill some? Okay, bye. We gotta go. We gotta go. Bad influence. Y'all don't come here. It's a bad, it's a bad influence. It's actually really nice. <laughs> this one tastes a lot more floral. It's got like gardenia or something in it. So I like the peach one better, but this one's not bad. Oh man. Look at this nice front row parking space Ricky got. What in the world? With all these people here, he got the number one parking spot in all the land. No, we did get to see Pilot Mountain yeah, after all. Hello, Pilot Mountain, and goodbye, Pilot Mountain. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed your quick visit to Pilot Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Pilot Mountain. <laughs> We have come over now to the town of something something, Puff North Town. Carolina, Puff Town. there we go, to go El Magüe Mexican Cuisine. Is the right place? <laughs> I've been here 500 times. 500? This is 501. Ooh. That's a lot of salsa. That's a nice donkey. So they have new plates. Hmm. Yeah, Ricky got his own bowl because Laura said he likes to put extra hot in it and nobody oh, else wants no, no, that. Oh, no, no, I don't want that. So he can't share. Like oh my gosh, yes, yeah, just like every menu, there's like a hundred thousand things. All right, well, we'll see, we'll see what's good. <laughs> oh gosh, well, that I was a horrible that. ding. Let's dig. <laughs> there we go. Now, Ricky is over here playing jalapeno roulette. Apparently, he says one in 50 mm -hmm. will burn your face off. That's right. So, you're doing okay so far. Oh, we're good. She's still trying to decide what she <laughs> wants over there. <laughs> this menu is like five pages long. What? Very nice and picturesque. Yeah. You guys don't know that, so I've narrowed it down to like two options. And I'm still a little trying. tangy, but I like the pickly flavor See? on it. They're excellent. It does tingle your tongue a little bit, though. 
right, I can get down with that. Now, he also has some hot sauce over there, and I'm not sure if I'm going for that or yeah, not. Yeah, that might be a little hot. Mm. Put, put a little bit on the chip and try it. Let's put some on the jalapeno and try it. Let's don't. Y'all, Ricky just lost jalapeno yes. roulette. Yes, I did. I tried a few. They were not bad, but they are spicy. I also tried his salsa. I had beer. Really good flavor. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he just lost. He said it was the spiciest one he's ever had. And we were here to witness it. Yes. We cool. were. We got to witness that. He's had the best parking spots yes. all day. I would never and now that. the spiciest jalapeno he's had here. We're setting records today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what is he doing? All right, Dee's going to try How Ricky's. How spicy is this? It's Ricky's special salsa. It's yeah. got a really good flavor to it. And um, like, A little bit. It's a little bit, a little bit hot. But it, something about it, see if it reminds you of like a Frito, like the corn chip with that salsa. Nice little savory bite to it. I'll wait till it Ooh, I okay. like it. Yeah, okay. Did hurt you like already? The side of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I just ate like eight strips of jalapenos. Oh. I did not lose the jalapeno lottery. Well, that's good though. You didn't. I got it. Jalapeno roulette. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh, she's gonna need more water. <laughs> Necesito it's hot, yeah. James White, it tastes like a Frito. Yeah, she something about it makes it taste like a Frito chip. There's a there's a good savoriness about that sauce. Guacamole's cooling, right? Yeah. It's not eat that much. Bye y'all. We're gonna cool off. So Dee has gone tacos al pastor. Ricky has got the chicken soup. Which he says is the best. Yeah, apparently the best soup ever. Laura has got a cute little plate. What did you get? Carnitas. Carnitas. And apparently, Ricky, I blame Ricky for this. Uh, yeah, I blame Ricky. He told me to order the special dinner. So it comes with a taco. We have some enchiladas, rice and beans, something with some sauce and some Watch out, something, stuff. something. Is there more coming? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you had rice and beans Ooh. with yours and you had a nice little green sauce. Yeah, I didn't know mine came on three plates, but you know what? I'm down with it. Ricky I need some, Ricky some carbohydrates. Yeah, oh my gosh, Ricky got the first spot again. He is doing some amazing parking tonight. I am full as anything right now. I'm really full. Can you it was, even? It was as good as the all-inclusives in Mexico. <gasps> yeah. Wow. Very authentic. High praise. Highly recommend. Go there. Okay, bye. Good morning. Good morning. We've got one more mission we need to accomplish before we skip town. <laughs> one thing that was founded around this area is Krispy Kreme Donuts. I did not know that. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we're going to see if we can seek out the original location, which I don't think is there anymore, mm -mm. and not. try to get some donuts from a location that is there. So you think the hot and ready light will be on today? I think mean, it's pretty early with the time change. I don't know. I hope so. Oh yeah, happy daylight savings happy time, y'all. It's like nine o'clock, but it's not really. Yeah, we lost an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go get some donuts. Like, uh, last thing we need is more food. I don't need any more food. But you know what? Come on. I'm to the point that you just eat because it's time to eat, and that's not uh, <laughs> no. Anyway, bye. Bye. I see a Krispy Kreme over there. Is the highlight on? Oh my gosh. Alright, so somewhere over here was the original. I don't know. I'm just going to look at the new one. That's a lot more exciting. They're not busy. Not the road, at least. Look at this beautiful, beautiful hot light. <laughs> it's a thing of beauty, I tell ya. Just look at all that. That's like a lot of B-roll. It's donut roll, D-roll. Cute! Mm. We got four original and four, that's two, two filled. That's how math works. One lemon and one raspberry. What? Hot bite. Is there, is there anything? It's just like biting into some sweet air. Whoa. <laughs> it's a Krispy Kreme spin. It's a Krispy Kreme crew. Ow! <laughs> All right, we are wrapping up our time here. Thanks for taking us to the Krispy Kreme. Thank you, guys. So welcome. Finding us some breakfast. <laughs> now, is this, this is not the original site, right? It's not quite here. It we was, sort of saw it on the way in. In this vicinity. Vicinity. Okay. 
Good enough. It's close enough. You know yeah. what? It's delicious, and yeah. that's close enough for me. <laughs> I consider this the original light. <laughs> yeah. And the hot light was on. Yep. Bonus. Bonus. <laughs> All right, but that's it for this video. I guess we'll do the full-on outro. This might be the last video of our road trip series. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, if there's more after this, I'll you know, tuned. just watch them. But I guess for now, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Become a paromaniac today. Socialize all our media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yep. And until next time. Rock, rock on. on. You can say rock on. I did. I whispered it. <laughs> rock on. <laughs>